Hey guys, we're back. We're gonna be reacting. This is part two, video part two. We're gonna be reacting to the uh, another, yeah, 13 minutes of this, and then another 13 minutes, and then we'll finish it off in the fourth episode of this. Let's get into it. I have no respect for my mom. I call my mom. No respect for your mom, that's messed up. By her name, Kimber, because I don't see her as a mom. My dad is everything, but I honestly think he's an idiot for marrying my mom. Kimber has ruined my life. Kimber has called me a bitch, a slut, a whore, and she said that I'm never going to amount to anything. There's. I mean, bro, she's telling the truth. No fixing the relationship between me and my mom. I want nothing to do with Kimber. Honestly, I think that high school is a joke, but getting your GED counts just as much as getting a high school diploma. Since I'm not in high school right now, I normally go to the skate park. This is me at the skate park. I'm drinking. I'm I'm smoking weed or smoking. Sorry about that. I was just telling my parents about how dumb this girl is. And they were they were like, that is really stupid. I mean, because it really is. And she's smoking weed. That's, me that's really weird. Cigarettes. I was 14 when I started smoking marijuana. My parents found out and they said as long as I don't hurt anyone or myself by it, they don't care. I smoke weed every day. If my parents claim... Wait, they said they don't care as long as you don't hurt anyone or hurt yourself. That's just horrible parenting. You can't. She has to have... It's just because... Her parents suck, man. That's really messed up. That should not be happening. At all. It is not good. Claim they don't know that I smoke weed. That's a total lie. If I'm not at the skate park, then I'm normally at home watching YouTube videos. My dream is definitely to become a YouTube star. So Hell nah, bro. I probably have more subscribers than her right now. And I only got 34, bro. 34. I probably got more than her. That's what I'm gonna try to do. I do have three YouTube channels. Some of my older videos are me doing makeup tutorials. So that's what it looks like. I also have some videos up on my YouTube channel called Dare Mondays. In one episode, I was dared to eat baby powder. As soon as I put it in my mouth, I just dried up my whole mouth, and it was disgusting. None of my videos have actually gone viral. The most views I've gotten on my YouTube channel was 85. 85, bro! My videos are getting over 2,000, man. That's crazy. 
I feel like my parents are just blowing everything out of proportion. They just need to stop worrying. I feel like I have a bright future ahead of me. Bright fruit future? You're tripping, right? There's no way you're gonna have a bright future. I just think that Kimber needs to step out of my life. Okay, it's good to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So tell me about your bright future. What Describe it for me and how it's going to unfold. Um, I'm going to school so I can get my GED, and it counts just as much as a high school diploma. And then I thought I'm, you said high school was stupid. It is, but you do have to get some sort of education or else you're nothing. You won't ever get a job. You can't do anything. And I'm planning on going to college for cosmetology and crime scene investigation. Wow. Mm. <laughs> News But right. we don't get to know that because we're not in her bubble. Why is that funny? Like, that's a professional thing to do. Yeah. What's that mean, they're not in your bubble? They're not a part of my life. They're not going to be a part of my future. My dad is. That one over there is not. Why is that? Damn, bro. Damn. That is so funny. I don't even know why. <laughs> it's so stupid. Because she's a psychopath, and I honestly wish she would be locked away. Throw away the key. Never come back ever again. Yeah, what, what is a psychopath? Wow. Um, she's ruined my life for the well, past six... Well, define psychopath. Okay, you psychopath, said she's a psychopath is... She's constantly... I don't mean her, just what's... You said she's a psychopath. Okay, define psychopath, psychopath for me. psychopath is... You mentally cannot think straight. You mentally do not think your age. And you have... Like, you just don't think right. You don't think like a normal... She said you don't think like a normal human. Her mom's a psychopath. Doesn't think like a normal human. What else was that? It doesn't and doesn't act normal. She said that. And she's smoking weed. And doing drugs. A normal human does not do that. She crazy. Well human would. You don't have a thought process. I'm guessing she has a thought process. <laughs> oh my god, she thinks she has a thought process. This is so stupid. Hmm, interesting. I think I'm just gonna not react because it's so stupid. I'm just not even gonna pause this. We're just gonna keep watching. Well, that's not what psychopath means at all. Okay, but then. <laughs> Wow. Since I know um, that's what you love to do is different But I, th things. I think what you're saying is you two don't connect. You don't have a relationship with her. She doesn't understand yeah. you. I don't want to have a relationship. I want nothing to do with her. You well, don't, but last night you wanted me to come over and rub on your legs and do things. Yeah, because you know. I want you to do things for me. <laughs> so manipulating the situation is normal. So you say you've skipped every day when repeating the ninth grade. Oh, yeah. I skip school all the time. School is irrelevant for me besides, like, as soon as I get my GED, I can start my life because I'm already an adult. I've been an adult since I was little. I've had to do everything for myself. No, you don't I become a legal adult, at all. adult until you're no, 18. You stupid. don't do anything. What Nanny and Papa do stuff for me. They have bought me what? everything. You didn't even buy me a car. Okay. What? A, but I don't do anything else for you. And you think you should be entitled to have this car anyways. And because you... Oh, my God. I'll take the bus. I'll walk. I don't care. I don't need a car. I'm not a spoiled brat. I'm not a rich white kid. What about No. The phone? You can have your phone back. I don't even give a crap about it. So if, if you were... Come on. Like, stop it with the ads, man. A few questions. Um... What's it cost to rent a one-bedroom apartment? Um, well, the last apartment I looked at was six seventy-nine a month. Uh -huh. And how much are deposits on utilities? I wouldn't know. If you get a job and you make a thousand dollars, how much do they withhold for 
income tax and FICA and unemployment and all of that? How much do they take out of your check? I don't under, like, Remember I don't that know. that conversation we had the other day? Literally, it, I don't need to know that till it actually happens. Once it happens, then I can get it done. Mm -hmm. Do you know how much it costs for food on average a week? Groceries? Well, food. see, I only eat one meal a day, and I don't really care if I eat every day. So I could spend probably 10 bucks a week. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, ten, all these people think it's funny, but like, they all eat three meals a day and they think that it, like, you are asking for money, $20 here because you got to go $20 uh, there. Yeah. And what, what, do you think a, what do you think a car payment is if you I buy don't need a, a good used car? I don't need a car. So you don't need a car, you can get around on the no. bus? I have friends. I have bus is thirty five cents. She has friends to ride the bus, mm -hmm. and you can go anywhere you want. And uh, how about health insurance if you break your arm at the skate park? Mm -hmm. I don't skate, so I wouldn't break my arm at the skate park. Bro, you got me there. That's a good joke. That's our. That's a real good joke, man. Well, somebody ran into you and you broke your arm. What Literally, you I sit at the skate park and I'm not going to get hurt. And I haven't gone to the doctors in over a year, so I wouldn't need health insurance. And mm. actually, to go to the doctors without health insurance isn't that much more expensive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See what I deal with? Mm, there it is. Mm -hmm. Every day. So, if I could snap my fingers and you were just instantly emancipated and so when you guys fly home you get off the flight they turn right and you turn left you're good to go i'm set i have people i have friends so you're gonna mooch off of friends i'm not mooching they offer stuff to me and i have money and also i have a way of making money like i babysit i like mow people's grasses, I walk their dogs, I do stuff like that. So, it's not like I'm not doing anything with my life and it's not like I'm just mo mooching off of everyone. No, I have my own ways of making money. Mm -hmm. well, do you know what funny. the poverty level is in America? But I wouldn't be in poverty, so I don't really care. But you don't know how much that is? No. Well, Tim's parents are here. Uh, we're going to find out why they uh, agree with Brittany on some things and blame Kimber for some of Brittany's issues. We'll talk to them when we come back. All the problems with Brittany has something to do with her mother. I think that Kimber has torn my family apart by her lack of parenting. If Brittany doesn't change, I don't know what's going to happen to her, and that is my greatest fear. Monday on an all-new Dr. Phil. Nope. They think only kooks go to go get help at all. Literally, no, though. So it Literally, though. Shut off. Like, seriously. It's not true. That is true, no, though. Not true. For me, it is. No. no. Do you guys understand that she has been diagnosed with a disorder and is managing that? Absolutely. Yeah. We're very. You've been dealing with it the last 16 years. Then you look like you want to say something. <laughs> I want to say that it that mental health has fragmented my family right. to the point of intolerance. I have provided a lot of those so-called brat things, privileges to her. I'm told that I can't take it away because you provided it. I can't withhold the phone from her There's because There's only one you person provided. who has said that, and that one is him. One sitting over there. And if you didn't parent well enough to control it and come out with a good daughter in the end, I can't do any more than what I am told. I have experienced you calling the police, yeah. And you come into my house trying to take Brittany away from my care, her it, care. It was terrifying. 
They're and saying that they can't. Yeah, it was terrifying me. And, that, that I did not allow to see my away. child and have her get away from because what I felt was a mentally insane. and physically abusive, not physically, excuse me, mentally and emotionally abusive family and situation. I think that you were being very self-centered at that time. Trying because to I was looking out for myself and for my daughter. Because you were to kidnap me. You drove off to the police station and they took you in for a mental, mental evaluation. Because you guys asked them to. Huh? No one asked them anything. You drove yourself up there and they saw that you were crazy. You're saying if I would go away, all this would be better. Listen. That is what you not, are saying. I would and that not is what say you that. I would and this is the family that, that, that I have okay. out of his Brittany mouth. Brittany said that she wants to be a famous YouTube star, a crime scene investigator, a cosmetologist. Does she really understand what it takes to succeed in these careers? No. Yeah. What role does her mother and father play in this? Okay. What role do her grandparents play in this future unfolding in a positive way uh we're gonna it's not even gonna unfold in a and positive it's time way. to get very realistic about what needs to happen here we'll be right back don't tell me another you're gonna try and knock me down and pick me apart and find my weak spot i don't have a weak spot how, how do you know what i'm gonna do it's television it's not that hard on an she all new really Dr. Said Phil. That. She really said that, bro. Playing referee. Brittany is very spoiled. She's been always she given is what she wanted very when she spoiled. wanted it. I have a hard time putting my foot down because. Bro. She is a phone, man. I mean, I've saved up $500. I got my gaming stuff for Christmas. Other than that. I have to buy myself. Sometimes my parents are like, oh no, you can't buy this because we don't want you to spend all your money on video games. And they're right. Man, it's crazy what she's doing, man. Brittany. Uh, I have to buy all, buy all my own stuff, man. She's crazy. Here. We'll decide to leave and not come back. Who you say you want to be emancipated? I ask you if you really knew what it took to live on your own, and you demonstrated, I think, with great clarity that you don't. Uh, you, you say you want to be a forensic science technician. You have to have a bachelor's degree. That's in never. That's never happening. Sciences. That's required. Yeah. Law enforcement experience before you become a crime scene investigator. I know. Communication skills, objectivity and composure, clinical thinking skills, detail-oriented math and science skills, yeah. physical stamina, problem-solving skills, a, a lot of things that have to do with maturity, uh, analysis, and working for others. I know, and that's why I'm getting my GED. Ha have you taken your GED yet? No, I took the pretest to see where I was placed, mm -hmm. and I was placed in one of the top placements mm -hmm. before I can take the actual GED. Well, I understood she failed the test. Yes. Right. By a couple of points. <laughs> I almost passed it. Why? Is every comment you make sarcastic? Because I think this is funny. Like, I'm not even that. This is funny, man. We're talking about your personal life. The rest of your life, she thinks this is funny. It's just, she's crazy, man. Not big of an issue. The issue is sitting right there. But why? I'm not no. asking you. No, it's not. Your mom is not the issue. She on drugs i mean you can tell by the way she's acting bro you need to like, do something about it bro alert the police she's on drugs bro she cannot be on drugs about her i'm asking she about you be. why is everything what you is. say yeah. defensive and sarcastic because you're gonna try and knock me down and pick me apart and find my weak spot i don't have a weak spot oh. Oh. How, how do you know what I'm going to do? Uh, <laughs> I, I just know. I've watched you ever since I was little. I know every aspect on everything. <laughs> For the show, at least. I mean, it's television. It's not that hard. 
<laughs> it's not that easy. Not that easy. Ooh. Good luck. <laughs> well, um, you sure got me figured out. Mm. Uh, yeah. How she got? How she got him figured out? She don't even got her figured out. She don't got herself figured out at all, man. She crazy. But if can we take? Just look at. Can we just look at this? Perfectly round head. It's perfectly round. See how it goes pop, pop, and then it goes out. And then it goes back in. Like, what happened? And it looks really <laughs> weird right there. <laughs> you don't scare me. I'm not trying to. Wake <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are the ones with rose-tinted glasses that walk around like, oh, everything's okay, I'm just going to let her do whatever she wants because I don't want to hurt her feelings. I don't want to make her upset. No, because I don't want you to keep pushing me physically and escalating how you do that. I don't well, need to are you, are you wake up in the middle of the night. Are you going to walk away? Why do I need to walk away? If I'm trying to parent you and tell you that the things parenting. that you do You've are never incorrect, been a parent to me. then I'm not walking away. Okay, let me put it in there then. So you want me to walk away too? No, you're fine. That one needs to walk away. We're going to take a break here. And um, when we come back, Brittany is going to be not here. Uh, <laughs> because... Because, well, no, it's just, it's time for They don't the need to be, she don't need to be there. Uh, yes. And make some adult I think she, decisions. I think he's it's right. It's time for the children to not be here while we talk about I'm adult issues. I'm more of an adult than that one. We'll be right back. Is that what she really said? One of the biggest issues here um, is that she has been able to divide and conquer. Yes. yes I think um, yes. And you know, kids are really good at that, even from two, three years of age. That's They're right. really good at dividing and conquering. And she'll play up to you against her when it's convenient. She'll play up to right. you against him when it's convenient. She'll run to the grandparents when it's convenient. The problem is she may have gotten what she wants, but she hasn't gotten what she's needed. Exactly. And there's something that I might offer down the road after we do something. In fact, I, I have a resource available. Joining us now is Nikomi Higgins. She's the Assistant Program Director of the Premier Treatment Center, Center for Discovery, which specializes in troubled, underachieving teens who... Let's go, Dr. Phil, bro. You got me, bro. You got it. You got him, bro. You could not be letting this happen. Struggle socially, academically, emotionally, and who need an intervention to stop the self-destructive pattern. Nicole, talk to us about the program that you and I have discussed that might be appropriate for Brittany at some time in the future. Yeah, Center for Discovery has been around for over 20 years. We've been helping families such as yours really navigate the struggles around depression, anxiety, addiction, most importantly, family conflict. Um, and so through our family therapy program, we really work with you guys to not only explore, but confront the dynamics that are driving you guys apart and really fostering an environment of just disrespect and again, disconnection. And then with Brittany, it's clear that she's hurting it's clear that she's angry and our focus with her is respecting the fact that she does want to be independent but really helping her understand that her anger and her hurt is resulting in behaviors that are really only hurting her true, and making it harder for her to, to achieve her goals we're in our 16th season and, and we've been able to work with people all over the country and have the ability to really reach out to the, the top programs in the country, and that's why Center for Discovery is here. They're top, top, top. Yeah. And uh, I, I have that in the arsenal of what 
can be used here. It's not time for that yet. And I'll tell you why it's not time for that. Because she would come home to the same toxic environment that she has left. And this has to change. It really does have to change, man. She, she will not be a, a YouTube star at all, man. First off, I, I want to say to all of you that I, I, postpartum depression, postpartum psychosis is a very real medical condition. Mm -hmm. And one of the results is you can have an attachment disorder mm -hmm. can set in where a mother and child don't form that initial bond and that can fester across years and create real, real problems. Because of this failure to bond, because of this feeling of no attachment, because of this feeling of essentially being rejected by her mother, and so you get a real chip on your shoulder and you start to say things to yourself that do yep. make you yep. really angry and, and mm -hmm. really ready true, to true, fight true. and get very them true. before they get you. So she has some very legitimate reasons mm -hmm. for being as angry and bitter as she is and she looks for surrogates mm -hmm. and she has found surrogates in these people over here and you might be resentful of that at times but you should be very grateful that they've been willing to step up and right. love your child and support your husband and your family the way that they have when you've been at times that this disease is controlling you instead of you yeah. controlling it. Well, yeah. Ben here's kind of old school and he doesn't exactly understand exactly how all this works, but he has stepped up and done the right thing. And I, I, God bless you for doing that. Thank you. Um, and you guys have truly rewarded bad behavior. You have mm -hmm. violated some of the fundamental mm -hmm. principles of mm -hmm. parenting and you got the tail wagging the dog. Okay. If I'm gonna ask you to do different, I need to show you different. And so I'm gonna yeah. get you some professional help that's gonna say, here's what we do instead. Okay. And if it gets to the point that that professional says she would benefit from some short-term intensive care, then we will call okay. Center for Discovery we will put her there for a period of time with your permission mm -hmm. and do what we need to do. So we have a, a short-term plan and a long-term plan to get this young lady turned around and then, and then just watch her shine in her life. Awesome. Yeah, Fair enough? Okay. Yeah. okay, I want to thank all of my guests today, including uh, my friend, Assistant Director of Operations, Nakomi Higgins from the Center for Discovery as well as safety interventions for offering resources for Brittany's recovery. We will see you next time. Yes, thank you, sir. Dr. Phil. That's his wife, I'm pretty sure. Guys, that's just crazy. Her parents are all not good at all, man. They should not be doing that stuff for her. It's kind of crazy that they actually did do that stuff. Crazy. But that is all. See you. Bye.